He's ranking the best NBA player of all time for each draft pick. I'm going to do every single pick in the first round, and I'm going to do increments of five for the second round just because there's not as many notable guys there. But I'm going to start with the second round and work my way all the way back to the first pick. 56 through 60, considered Isaiah Thomas, but had to go with Manu Ginobili. He was the 57th overall pick, was a two-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA, and four-time champion. There weren't too many notable guys from 51 to 55, so I'm going to skip down to 46 to 50. Paul Millsap was close here, but I went with Mark Gasol. He was the 48th overall pick. He's a three-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA, and Defensive Player of the Year. 41 to 45, I considered Michael Redd and Lou Williams, but I went with Jokic just because I think he has so much potential to be really special. 36 to 40, I considered Monte Ellis, but had to go with Chris Middleton. The two-time All-Star was the 39th overall pick. 31 to 35 was super tough. A lot of good guys here. Draymond Green was a very close second, but had to go Gilbert Arenas. In his prime, he was one of the best players in the NBA. 30th, I went with Jimmy Butler, a five-time All-Star and two-time NBA, one of the best wings in the NBA right now. 29th, Dennis Johnson, a Hall of Famer, five-time All-Star, three-time champion, and nine-time All-Defense. 28, Tony Parker, a six-time All-Star, four-time All-NBA, and four-time champion. 27, Dennis Rodman, every NBA fan knows what this dude was all about, one of the best rebounders in league history. 26, Vladi Divac, a Hall of Famer and All-Star who averaged 12 and 8 throughout his career. 25, Mark Price, a four-time All-Star and four-time All-NBA and an absolute sniper from three-point range. 24 is Arvidas Sabonis, a Hall of Famer who averaged 12 and 7 throughout his career. 23 is Alex English, an eight-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA and Hall of Famer. 22 is Truck Robinson, the two-time All-Star averaged 15 and 10 throughout his career. 21 is Rajon Rondo, a four-time All-Star, four-time All-Defense. He's been All-NBA, and he's been an NBA champion. 20th is Larry Nance, a three-time All-Star, three-time All-Defense, averaged 17 and 8 for his career. 19 is Tiny Archibald, a six-time All-Star, five-time All-NBA, and he's in the Hall of Fame. 18, Joe Dumars, the Hall of Famer, was a six-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA, and an NBA champion. 17th is Sean Kemp, a six-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA, and one of the best dunkers in league history. 16, John Stockton. The Hall of Famer was a 10-time All-Star, 11-time All-NBA, and he's one of the best passers in NBA history. 15th was really tough, and in five years, it's either going to be Giannis or Kawhi, but for right now, I have to go with Steve Nash, an eight-time All-Star, seven-time All-NBA, two-time MVP, and Hall of Famer. 14th is Clyde Drexler, a Hall of Famer and 10-time All-Star who averaged 26 and 5 for his career. 13 was so easy, it's got to be Kobe, 18-time All-Star, 15-time All-NBA, 5-time champion, an MVP, and a Hall of Famer. 12th was another easy choice, it's got to be Dr. J. The Hall of Famer was a 16-time All-Star and 4-time MVP. And 11th, another Hall of Famer, Reggie Miller, a 5-time All-Star and one of the best 3-point shooters in NBA history. 10th is Paul Pierce. He was a 10-time All-Star, 4-time All-NBA, and NBA champion, and averaged almost 20 points per game throughout his career. 9th is Dirk. The future Hall of Famer was a 14-time All-Star, 12-time All-NBA, an NBA champion, and he won an MVP. 8th is Robert Parrish, a Hall of Famer, 9-time All-Star, and 4-time NBA champion. 7th has got to be Steph Curry, a 6-time All-Star, 6-time All-NBA, 3-time champion, 2-time MVP, and the best shooter in NBA history. And 6th is Larry Bird. The Hall of Famer was a 12-time All-Star, 3-time champion, 3-time MVP, and he's one of the best players in NBA history. The 5 spot was really tough. I considered Charles Barkley and D-Wade was a very close second, but I ended up going with KG. He was a 15-time All-Star, 12-time All-Defense, 9-time All-NBA, an MVP, and an NBA champion. Fourth is Chris Paul. The future Hall of Famer is a 10-time All-Star, 9-time All-Defense, 8-time All-NBA, and one of the better point guards in NBA history. Third, a very easy choice, the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. I don't have enough time to go through all his accolades, but the two most important ones are a 6-time champion and 5-time MVP. Second was another easy choice, Bill Russell, possibly the greatest winner in all of sports history, but the Hall of Famer was an 11-time champion and 5-time MVP. And the best number one overall pick of all time is another easy choice, LeBron. Again, I don't have time to go over all the accolades, but the most important are he's a four-time MVP and three-time champ.